there is an interesting distinction which we could easily miss in Nicodemus's chat with Jesus. The subtle difference between judging and condemning. To judge is to assess. To condemn is to damn. As believers, we need to exercise prudent judgment because we have to keep discerning what is right and healthy, leading us to greater faith, hope, and love, or what leads us to the opposite. We need to judge to ensure that what we do or say can be reconciled with the things we hold to be true, our identity. Prudent judgment is a tool for discerning. Condemnation is to damn. If you are on social media, you may have noticed how often social media is used as a space to condemn. Harsh condemnation, often by so-called religious people, seems to thrive on the networks we engage with every day. From the conversation with Nicodemus, Jesus says that condemnation is the prerogative of God alone. God who sees all, knows all, and loves all. St. John, in his Gospel, tells us that God has, in a sense, forfeited the right to condemn the world because he sent Jesus, who is light, truth, and Savior, to be in the world. The Gospel reminds us that if we feel condemned, we have condemned ourselves. And this is important to note. God does not condemn us even when we are lost and in darkness. When we find ourselves in our most destructive attitudes and behavior, the saving light of Christ is always available to us, inviting us to move from darkness into light. The invitation to us throughout Lent is to move from darkness into the saving light of Christ. And Jesus assures us that we move into the light when we seek the truth, that this is done through God and God alone. Walking in the light of Christ means no condemnation. Can you see the subtle difference between prudential judgment and condemnation? Who might you have condemned? And what in your life needs to come into the light of truth as we journey through Lent.